Okay, so what do we got here? So we got two floor drains. I'm gonna this floor drain I need to collect connect to this wall going over to this riser. That's a vent riser, but I need to connect this floor drain from this wall. And I'm gonna run in the floor and connect and to somewhere probably in this area okay so and my next trick <laughs> is to take this this floor drain and connect it from this wall I'm gonna run it from the wall to this main what's that a four inch a four inch drain okay and the vent is gonna come up in the wall go on the ceiling and connect into this existing two inch vent okay so that's the problem so mm, so it looks like i have a section here i'm gonna look at that section go to this floor drain and come down looks like our slope needs to go down i know that that may not have any effect on whether or not the pipe is slow but just just because so I'm gonna go straight down and make sure that that our our pipe type is that sanitary and our system type is sanitary so it looks good uh, types are okay slope is okay so I'm gonna go over to the wall go down we need a p-trap so here and come over here and go up just because we can and what i need to do is connect and draw my pipe go back to my overall and because i'm here i can select this point on my floor plan at an angle of 45 let's go 45 degrees ah uh, but i need to go down so let's pretend i went down <laughs> so we're gonna go down to that area and i'm gonna rotate my section view so that we're looking north rotate clockwise 90 degrees Look at this area, section two. And if I can go up just a little bit, let's go up a little beyond the center point of our main pipe and draw a couple of detail lines. Let's draw a couple of detail lines in here. One in the horizontal direction, escape, and one in the vertical direction. Okay, in the vertical direction, and extend my pipe to the vertical, and let's adjust our pipe to our horizontal. Uh, I we're gonna eyeball this back and over so that when we connect when we make a connection it can be at least so that we don't, don't get any kind of extraneous reducer okay i'm gonna trim this back to here and tab so that we can get all this go back to the floor plan and we can do it two ways we can either drag it or sometimes dragging works sometimes it doesn't uh let's see what happens okay so that worked we're gonna leave it alone and now what we need to do is get our let's make sure that our plumbing fixtures are okay that's domestic 
Drain is fixed units are two coming off of a floor drain and let's get our vent <coughs> just because just because uh vent is going to be one and a half inch I'm going to go back and make sure that this vent is not sloping okay and let's not have it slope we're gonna go here and the pipe type is gonna be vent pvc system type is vent okay let's go over to our wall and up to the ceiling at 11 feet okay so we can go up 11 feet there's no slope the pipe type looks okay system type is okay what we need to do is go into this area so i'm going to go i'm gonna go up ah uh, here we're at mm, mm, And over here. Uh, I knew something wasn't. <laughs> so it didn't feel right about that one. Let me go back. Shit. Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay, here. And let's go down. What? Let's see. What elevation we got? It's 10, 10. That should be 11. Hold on. 11 can we do that okay so that should be 11 and when i extend i should get a really nice tea right really nice one nice tea a nice tea okay and we have one fixture units are two okay so that takes care of uh the first floor drain and the second floor drain is gonna we need to connect it there's a riser here so if i go to this view and look at the riser you see this riser so we need to connect where is the floor drain this floor drain this guy all the way up into this guy does it have a cap on it okay so let's go back to the floor plan and do the same thing we're gonna go we need to go back to the wall but in order to do that let's make a section view that looks west so we rotate that counterclockwise 90 degrees look at our section view uh in here somewhere and let's make sure that it's not sloping with a sanitary eh, sanitary sanitary okay and what we need to do is go back to the wall and make a trap of course and let's go up just a little bit just below the floor line and I'm gonna undo that because it moved a little bit I'm gonna make sure that let's see if it's floor drain is pinned it is not I am going to pin it okay so drain pipe we're gonna go back to our floor plan so that we can connect somewhere in this area so we go here and slope down right and 135 let's do 135 okay and i'm gonna 135 here and see if i can from here try and manipulate my pipe somewhere in that area 
So, looking at that section, um, I'm going to rotate again 90 degrees, but clockwise, so that we can see what's going on between the pipe from the floor drain and it looks like the pipe from the floor drain needs to go up can I go up 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 and beyond a little bit let's, let's you see the difference see and beyond just a, okay that's good now I'm gonna draw a detail line and let's just trim that back a little bit okay and draw another detail line okay um hmm where are we where are we where are we where are we here let me get a little bit closer because okay just because okay now that looks a little bit cleaner okay so uh, detail line detail 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 line here and up and a horizontal just because let's do a detail line here and let's extend like we did the other one and like we're gonna do so many so many more so many more so many more I'm going to see if I can line up my pipe with the horizontal detail line so that we can <coughs> get some sense of uh, how Revit <laughs> um, puts a, a fitting on a pipe so hopefully let's see if this is gonna work so this is gonna be coming off the floor drain and Let's just see if this is going to work. So the last time I think I did uh, extend. Let's drag this. No, I no, I did drag. Let's, let's extend. Extend the pipe into there. Okay, so that worked too. <clears throat> I just think that it's, it just seems just out of practice. That, that particular method just the detail line and getting it horizontal and trimming it and that's that seemed to work a lot more than other times i don't know whatever whatever works for you but um i think that what we're gonna do now is get our um, looks like we're gonna do our vent line right let's make sure we got the right type and our pipe type is gonna go to a vent and our system type is going to be vent and we are i'm gonna say thank you very much go to the wall and come up at 11 feet correct let's go 11 11 uh oh wait a minute i'm gonna go back because i didn't like that that is sloping i know it looks horizontal but i don't like that it's defaulting to something that is sloping at an eighth of an inch so I'm gonna change that and go back to the wall come up a 11 right cast ah uh, pipe type is vent <laughs> what else <laughs> oh man okay I know that that's correct 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 11 correct 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 okay i'm gonna uh, oh man okay so we have to come out at 135 and let's go over here and what i need to do i'm gonna draw another detail line okay here and line this guy up so that i know that the that i'm gonna when I connect into the riser, it's going to uh, give me the correct fitting. Okay, but I need to use the line tool first here and there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so 
um so when we look at the section view let's look, let's just look at a section view i can go up whatever the ceiling space is going to allow me to do but um just looking at this i mean i can go up i don't know 13 whatever it is 11 7 let's say 11 7 that's good whatever is in this area i mean i can i can from here what i can do is go here and there right then it's going to connect here if we look at the plan view and then because this is at a particular angle i should make that mm, it's at 11. let's undo this undo and make this 11. so if i make that 11 11 okay no 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 11 it's all right 11 11 and extend section 2 extend no let's go let's go back because there is a pipe already there it looks like this is at 11 so if i go, can i go 12 here sure i can right let's go 13 uh oh wait 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 13 uh oh 13 13 13 can i go 13 thank you man oh man 13 here just be patient with revit i guess is that why is it 13 13 okay now let's do this section view 13 extend here here okay plan view and we can do the same here extend here what size is that's two inch huh that's a one and a half inch <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna split this guy let's split here and here okay and erase here make this guy make that a two inch okay so we make that a two inch and we go back this way that's it yeah okay <laughs> and extend here here cool we got it now let's make sure that everything is working correctly by looking at our fixture units right so we got 25 we're good okay i hope that helped i hope that helped i hope that helped so that was two how to connect two floor drains you know i mean there's a lot of ways of doing it but that's one way of doing it just in case you get stuck all right i'll talk to you guys later